about the first period? I thought it was a great first period. It was, it was, we played well. I mean, they played well. I thought it was a, an, an excellent period of hockey. What happened at the end of the first period? Why did I take my penalty, or what happened at the well, end of the period? What, what the was question? the mindset going into, obviously, what happened? I was frustrated. You know, I mean, uh, the second goal never should have been. Again, again, I, I just hate to really get critical of officials because it just sounds like I'm whining. Am I frustrated? Of course I am. I don't like where we are. I don't like how the season's gone. Of course I'm frustrated. But, you know, the puck never hit the ice. The linesman went to drop it. He didn't drop it. He kind of tossed it, and it hit the shaft of their stick, and it bounced over in their favor. They grab it, they throw it over, and they put it in the back of the net. It never, it never should have happened. It should have been a whistle. You have to actually drop the puck. The puck has to hit the ice, that little circle out there, drop it, hit it, then it's in play. But when it doesn't, you blow it down and you do it again. And the referee was standing right next to me. He had to have seen it. I was yelling. And then, obviously, they scored a goal. And after that, I had a couple of non-nice words to say to the official. And I got two minutes which I think is a really godless call on his part under the circumstances. But it's the same guy. It's the same guy that did it to us against St. John's. Same guy. They need to send him back to the coast. Did he give you an explanation? I didn't give him a chance. What explanation could he give him? That he doesn't, you know, a referee. I have a son that's a referee. I respect referees. I know they have a tough job to do. But it was a great period of hockey. It was a great game. Get out of the way. Right? Just get out of the way and let the two teams play, which we were doing. It was an honest period until they started blowing their whistle. And then look we have at the end. I mean, it was just, it turned out to be not a very good hockey game. You know, if I was a fan, I would have loved that first 20 minutes. It was a great period of hockey. You know, a team in our situation going against. You know, a really good team that's fighting for home ice. I thought it was an awesome 20 minutes. And then the rest down the way. Which thing did the amount of time uh, I thought, you play? Well, you know, second period, it was all, all special teams. And right now, um, you know, they're not getting much, they're not getting any penalty killing time. Um, they're getting just a little bit of power play time. So, you know, in the second period, you didn't get to see them a whole lot. And then in the third period, um, you know, we moved Schneider up to play. With Canoni and Pet Pedersen for a little bit, I thought he did well. Then we put Pumple out there to play half the period. I thought he did well. So under the circumstances, I mean, it is what it is, and I think they're doing a nice job. He had a he, he had a he couldn't play. Medical, we had a medical issue. They sent us damaged goods. <laughs> Coach, a couple of minutes ago you said you don't like where this team's at this season. How frustrating is it coming down the stretch here and not really being a factor, not being a contender like well, we saw last year? Yeah, I mean, it's very frustrating, you know. Um, you know, it's it's hard on everybody. I mean, players don't like to lose. Coaches don't like to lose. Um, you know, it, it stinks. It really does stink. And really right now all we have to play for is the end of the season. And, you know, you can say, well, you could be spoiler, but... Eh, I don't think we get a ton of sad. I think that's a little bit overrated, that spoiler thing. I mean, yeah, I mean, at some point, sure. Um, I don't know. I, I don't hear a lot of that in the locker room. It's certainly not going to be me that brings it up. I mean, I, I don't work that way. It's like I just want to go out and play the game the way we're capable of playing. You know, I like to focus on the process and let the process take care of the outcome. You know, I can't change. And all of a sudden start saying, let's be the spoiler. You know, the guys might want to do that. You know, and if that's something they're doing, fine. But we just got to keep plugging away. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, attitude for you has always kind of been take it one at a time, one step at a time. Do you just kind of try and coach your best game and ask the guys to play their best game uh, nothing, regardless, right? Nothing has changed. I mean, every day we show up, and if it's not a game day, we practice. And if we're practicing, my challenge to the guys is, you know, I... I want you to get better today. Somehow, some way, you have to get better. And that's just the way we've approached the whole year because right now, you know, we're not done. We still have seven games to go. We don't finish until the 14th, I think, of April. And I got to do the best that I can do to have this team ready every night because we still want to win games. I don't think losing is healthy. We've had enough of this. Um, but at the same time, I want to make sure the guys are ready for the end of the year just in case.
big club needs them. You know, call them black aces. I mean, there's that there out there. And, and if not that, I want to make sure that I do everything I can for each and every guy so that when training camp goes around in September, they're good to go. So I still have a lot of work to do. We've done a lot of work. We really have. We just still have some work to do. How do you handle things uh, maybe strategy-wise a little bit since the last few games? You're not really in contention. Do you tinker with the lineups, maybe give some young guys a little bit more playing time? Yeah. I mean, we have always been, um, again, we can go back. It's really this league is it is about development first and I think everybody that that knows me and knows the approach and knows the American Hockey League everybody understands that I still believe that you can win you know I really do I think that you can develop and I think you can win and I think last year we proved it so that doesn't go away and so right now I still believe we can continue to develop and I think we can continue to win and I'm never going to change that philosophy so there is there there are times where development gets in the way of winning. It, it does. It's happened this year. You know, you put a guy out there because you want to help him grow, and he helps the puck grow right to the back of the net. But that's just the American hockey. You know, it is what it is. So I want to win games, but I want to continue to develop our young kids, and that's just the way it is. That's the American Hockey League. That's the philosophy of the organization, and it's just the way I work. Is there a particular reason for the timing? Yeah, really. I mean, I don't do that often. And, you know, my hope, my, my hope was that it would just kind of give us just a little shot. And, um, you know, I thought Robin went in, he made some nice saves. You really can't fault him for the fifth one. You know, we lose him. We actually win a face off. We don't execute. It doesn't get out. They beat us back out of the corner. And we make a misread in front and they bury a rebound. I mean, Robin made the first save. Didn't bail him out in the second, and then he shut the door after that. So I was hoping that we'd get a little bit of a pop out of it. I don't know that we really did, but hindsight is point. Good enough? Good.